Ooh, girl driven too. Babe, this could be you. S15. Okay, FD. S15. Sick. With a wide body kit on it. Those tail lights are actually kind of cool. Uh, we're at an underground car meet in Japan. Uh, I don't know how we got here, but we are here. Supra as well. And a 370. It's actually, this is actually sick. I like the lip kit on it as well. The lip kit's pretty sick. Nismo 370. That's kind of cool too. Underground. JDM meets in Japan are kind of popping. R33. It's a car smuggler. That's pretty cool. Alright, we lost Brandon and Zeke and all them. I don't know where they're at. But we're just gonna walk around, I guess. Uh, I don't know, it's, it is pretty chill. We're just gonna walk around and see what else we find. Um, yeah, like I said, we're at an underground car meet in Japan. So uh, we'll see oh, right in front of me R35 GTR. Great Nismo, too. Crazy. Yo, it's pretty sick. S15. Another S15 right here. Dude, another S15 back there as well. Man, you're just finding all kinds of crazy shit here. Ooh, R34 Bayside Blue. What are the odds, dude? This is pretty sick. Dang. This is badass. That's gangster. Ooh, right next to the S15 that's blue and an R35 that's blue. Crazy. Ooh, next to an MK4 Supra. Man, you just find some crazy stuff out here. This is sick. Man, these JDM car meets. And then, bro, we just had an MK4 Supra, R35, and then you come over here and you have a random Lambo just in the freaking parking garage. Purple Lambo, this is so random. And another R34 over here. Pretty wild. I mean, it's not super duper crazy. We get some of these back home as well, but I mean, <laughs> pretty cool to see still. RWB Porsche. Super sick. These things are so wide, and this is what throws me off every single time I see a Porsche that's RWB is how wide these things actually are. And it's pretty cool that each time I see an RWB Porsche, like each one is a little bit different. This one has a huge wing, this one has more of a chill wing. But one thing that's always the same is how wide these are, specifically in the hips. There's another one over there, dude. Actually, a convertible one. That's pretty sick. Convertible RWB Porsche. So this is definitely sick. This is actually really sick. Sheesh! Look at the wheels, dude. We got an RX-7 randomly pulling up. Sick. Badass for sure. I don't know how. I don't know how you take this over this. To be honest, yeah, that's true. I mean, not, I, I would think that. Because you're already gonna get it. <laughs> Why the hell am I gonna get it? <laughs> hey, hey, she ain't, she's not wrong here. You know what I'm saying? She's not wrong. Bro, this is pretty sick, dude. It's actually a Z. I've seen this front bumper on Instagram. I think this is custom made, but dude, this thing is sick. To actually see this in person is badass. I mean, it's next to another Z over here. And this has like the whole vertex front end with like a wide body kit, but this one's definitely sick for sure. Yeah, this looks pretty gnarly back here. Sick. This one looks a little bit more aggressive, but I mean, I like the molded wide body on this. Definitely a lot more. Comes to an underground JDM car meet, finds a Camaro, I'm not a Camaro, a Chevelle out here, dude. This thing's badass. I wish I could see what's under the hood. This thing's actually clean though. The paint is really immaculate as well. Another S chassis up here. Got a random Camaro here that's dumped on the floor. It's actually kind of funny. It's funny that as an American, you come out here and you geek out over all the JDM cars, but Japanese people actually geek out over the V8s and freaking American muscle. That's funny to me. It's actually been a minute since I see the homie. The last time we came to Japan, we actually met him and he introduced me to his RX-7 and all kinds of other stuff and it's super cool to see him because now I have an RX-7 and my RX-7, excuse me, my RX-7 is now done. So it's super cool to actually see this back in person. Remember his interior was super crazy last time we came over here and it still is super sick and his wheels are badass bro. I mean there's a lot of cool cars up here but honestly it's so dark up here that it kind of makes it close to impossible to see these cars 
have a bunch of Datsuns over here. Some cool stuff, but it's just so dark. You can't see almost anything up here. It's so sick. Look at this. There's so many cool cars up here. It's just so dark. This one looks sick. Look at this. Oh, dude, this is badass. All right, guys, this is kind of crazy. Like, this is, this is what's crazy about Japan JDM Eats. It's a line of all 34s all the way down. Even right here, more 34s. Like, you got, lit and they're literally all GTRs. <laughs> you have literally a lot. Oh, wait, where did this guy come from? You literally have a line of all GTRs coming all the way down. Like, that's... That's literally the only crazy thing about Japan. That's This is wild. Super badass. I think this is an E46. This thing's sick though. Look at the engine bay. Pretty sick for sure. I like the wheels, dude. Up here, there are a couple of pretty sick cars. You have a Hans replica V uh, Veilside RX-7 from Tokyo Drift. And then you have Paul Walker's replica R34 over here. This is pretty sick. I've actually seen this in a lot of like TikToks and stuff from Japan. This thing's badass. All the underglow and everything. But, oh, it's not even underglow. It's just a big old neon light. This is sick for sure though. Didn't expect to see this one here. And then obviously you have Dustin Williams Evo from Tokyo Drift as well over here. Pretty sick. We saw Dustin walk a little bit down there. But yeah, pretty sick cars. Pretty cool little turn up. Yo, this is sick. Welded dip in the rear. You know that he goes street drifting. That's what I'm saying. You know he's for sure out street drifting. Let me go check out that S15 real fast. 